This free AI image generator is blowing up and rightfully so. Ideogram 2.0 brings the best text and prompt adherent outputs. In this quick step by step tutorial, I'll show you how to use this tool effectively to create thumbnails, consistent AI humans or characters for animations, logos and more. Plus, I'll give you free prompt templates so you don't waste time or credits. Make sure to subscribe and watch till the end. Go to Ideogram AI and sign up here. You can check out the community generations. This tutorial works for both free and plus users. You can track your credits up here. Let's dive into text effects. Start by pasting my prompt template and replacing the curly braces with the specified content. Be sure to clearly specify the material and enter the text in quotes. I recommend keeping magic prompt on. You may toggle to keep images private in the paid plan. Now select any aspect ratio like 3 is to 4. We'll use the 2.0 model throughout this tutorial and turbo to save creds. As for style, general or realistic works best for this. Hit generate and you'll find all creations under my images. We get amazing results in seconds. You can download your image by clicking the three dots. Here's another image I generated using the template. Mentioning the text spelled out by the flame of a matchstick. Looks great. Now for the thing that made you click on my video. For a Disney style thumbnail, we'll generate a princess holding a wooden board with her feet. Image generators often struggle with hand and palm details. But with 2.0 and my template, it's easy. Choose general style. But 3D works for some prompts. I picked a 1 is to 1 size to add text beside the image and generate. And here's one in 3D. To get accurate text, I suggest placing it in the middle of your prompts as placing it later can give inaccurate results. So to make your own thumbnail, use the thumbnail template. Let's choose caricature style and specify a famous comedian character. Add expressions, text and even a second actor before settling the title. You can also add a color scheme here or use the color palette, a paid feature that offers better results. I'll pick 16 is to 9 for this one and generate. The CTR will be crazy. Want consistent Pixar or anime characters for animations? I've got you covered. Use the Pixar anime template. Specify 3D Pixar style, character name for consistency and describe the outfit and scene. For example, a golden apple falling on his head while riding a bicycle. You can download these templates by clicking the link below. It's free, but you can enter any amount to support the channel. Once done, select 3D style and generate. This image looks straight out of a Disney movie. Copy the seed number by clicking the plus and remix it, setting weight to 40. To change scenes while keeping consistency. Copying seed is a paid feature but not necessary. It just takes more tries without it. We've edited the prompt for a new scene while retaining the character description to get these results. It's time for a consistent AI human. Use the AI human template, fill in key physical traits along with the scene and make sure to select a color palette. Pick the realistic style, then generate and select the best one. Copy the palette and see it to maintain consistency like so. Then change the outfit and scene for similar results. Jessica is back again. You may remix the image by setting strength to 45 to get a closer match, but sometimes it compromises prompt adherence. We can also create comic panels. Keep it to 2 to 3 panels, it works best. You basically specify the number of panels and describe each image. For instance, in a 2 panel scene 3 image, a hero trains with a sword on a tree then struggles to survive as the tree falls on him. Design seems to work great for this. Here's another one I made. Looks cute, right? Logos are straightforward. For simple logos, copy my logo v1 template and fill it in. Mine is a minimalist vector for a knife company. Design is best, but you can pick general or 3D style. Here's a perfect logo. Here's another one for a coffee shop in 3D style. For more complex logos, use the logo v2 template. The difference here is that you specify logo elements and typography on your own. Pretty neat. Now let's create Instagram posts. Copy the IG post template, paste in your business type, name, color scheme and define the content in quotes. Pick a 1 is to 1 size and generate. Done quickly. You can also create quirky memes like this one. For abstract art, there's no template but a few tips to create great art. Let's learn promptception, which is like a prompt within a prompt. Like a cat dreaming about a cat, dream dreaming about eating fish. Type the parent prompt first, then the child prompt in brackets and keep going. It works best with general style. Great, I suggest practicing it. Or if you don't have a specific idea, start from the bottom up. Take any image and copy its prompt. Add a parent prompt in front to create a loop. For example, a woman sleeping and dreaming. You can also play with reflections in your prompts. The world's your oyster. Let's quickly create some coloring pages and patterns. Use this template, adding an object, pattern or animal. You'll get cute results like this whale or a pattern like this. 
Finally, for cinematic scenes to create stunning movies, fill the 3D cinema template. Just tweak the content inside the curly braces. Then select 3D style and generate to get stunning results. As for the ideogram editor, it's a paid feature but lacks enough tools right now. I recommend Leonardo Canvas Editor for better results. You can learn that and more here. Do comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until then, see you in the next one.